us, we're going to give you a preview of our ingredients. We have five and a half pounds of ground beef. We have half teaspoon of black pepper, one teaspoon of accent. We have green peppers, red peppers, onions, celery, all chopped six ounces. We have two eggs. One package of beefy onion, one tablespoon of spice and herbs. We have six ounces of breadcrumb, a half teaspoon of seasoning salt, one teaspoon of minced garlic, one fourth tablespoon of curry powder, a half teaspoon of garlic powder, half teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and one fourth teaspoon of curry seed, celery seed, sorry. Here we go, we got our pan ready here. And then to the other side, we have light brown sugar, one third cup of brown sugar. And we always go one third of tomato ketchup and one of your favorite barbecue sauce and we got one fourth cup of tomato paste all right let's do it all right fellas we're gonna add our ground beef to the bowl get that nice and broke up I like the squeeze technique. Everything kind of spread out in the bowl. Get those finger holes in there. Cause that's also where your seasoning is gonna fall. Those little finger holes gets it throughout it. All right. pepper mm -hmm. our accent all right let me sure we get all of the celery green pepper onions A good flow that you got going here. Everything kind of just goes. All right. I know not everyone has it all just laid out like I do. It's good practice though. Get our onion pack in there. Our Creole season. Then our breadcrumb. I'm going to mix it. Just do about half of it. And our seasoning salt. Got a little sneeze going on there. A right, tablespoon of minced garlic. A right, one fourth of curry. A right, garlic. It's a half teaspoon of that. Have our Italian seasoning. And a half of that. 
and one fourth teaspoon of celery. All right, now that you got all that in there, we start our mix. You kind of just bring it in, fold it over on itself. Towards the egg, you want the egg to get all through it. Kind of helps hold it together, just like a hamburger, but it's a big hamburger. All right, now we got that going. Put our other half. Of breadcrumb and our one third cup of ketchup. And barbecue sauce. Also, let's bring it toward the middle. Got those all incorporated. It's starting to look like it's very own. Turn it upside down. Make sure you get that bottom. Then make sure it's just not just moving around down there. Now that those ingredients are incorporated, we'll be right back. All right, we got a sheet pan. And make sure you mind the edge here. At least a thumb deep, because you're gonna have a lot of fat that renders off out of this ground beef. Make sure you keep an eye on it. Have you a little uh, spoon ready to scoop some out if you need but sometimes it just doesn't happen it depends on the lean of meat that you're using all right we'll get that out of the bowl here transfer usually give it a good mash make sure everything's infused you don't want it to crack Oh, there's the mixing part. There we go. Go toward the middle. Make sure you shake them as long as possible. Footballish is what I go for. You might as well start your oven at 350, 360, if you haven't already. Might as well get that going. Let that preheat. You set him on in there. Just make sure he's bonded pretty good. It's no problem. And that's what you should look like when you're done forming and shaping. Make sure there's no cracks. It's just a 
keep pushing it together, let it rest together, making sure it forms together. Because when it gets hot, you can have it crack on you. And it doesn't look as nice as when you sit it on the table. And that's what we go for. We go for the nice, you know that. All right. And our next step is coming up. We got that placed in our oven at 350, and we'll let that go about 40, 45 minutes, and sometimes 50, depending on how much ground beef you use. All right. In the other setup that we had, and while we got time, we're going to go ahead and get this mixed up. Got one third cup brown sugar. Oh, it's sitting in there. We got one third cup of barbecue sauce. Should make sure we get all that out of there. One third cup ketchup. Should we get all that out of there? And we have one fourth cup tomato paste. Get that out of there. All right. Back to the side. Get these all mixed up. And then, I always like adding just a one third teaspoon of Italian seasoning. All right, you just leave this here until it's time, which will kick it up a notch on the temperature, at least to 170, well, to 375, when we're putting this on after the 45 minutes. We have our internal temperature of 160, that you're looking for. So if you want to break out the thermometer, go ahead. I'm pretty savvy with this meal, so I can just know about looking at it. It's on time. So there we go. You just sit that to the side, and there's your blade ready to go. All right, we'll be back with the next step. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is your ending product. And like I said, you, 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 you give or take for 45 minutes on 360 or 50. Like I said, give or take. Uh, and this is not exact science, but you should look something like this. And the meat stops rendering fat. And you see all the oil around it. And we're just going to get rid of that. Now that we've got our oil and all that from around. You remember this stuff. Oh yeah, that we mixed earlier. This time saver. There we go. Then... We're going to bring this on down, right on top. 
Oh yeah. There we go. Put a little bit on this side, a little bit on that side. We're just gonna work it in. You don't want to see any parts of your meats. You know when you're seeing the meat, you don't want to, you don't want to see that. Let's see, we're going to get on this end. What I do, I just scoop a little bit toward the bottom and I run around and make sure I get that bottom half checked out. And here we go. And that's what you have when you're done all right and you're gonna kick your oven up to about 375 and we're gonna let that go about 20 25 minutes and I'll show you the ending results be right back all right, people, this is the last rendition. This is what she looks like when she's all done. Didn't necessarily have to do the partial. It just looks pretty. You sit on the table. Plus, you can do this with mashed potatoes, stove top stuffing, anything you like. Green beans, corn on the cob, anything that you like. And he is delicious. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the cook. And you should come out with something on your plate. That looks like that. I didn't have a mashed potato stitch, you can see. I'm gonna dig into it a little bit. My animals told me that I was right out of my head the way he described it. He said I'd be better dead. Make sure you like and subscribe. Just to let you know that you can't mess with this. Just can't mess.